Yeah. All right, guys, man. So, uh, how do y'all think y'all say this guy's name? Gabriel what? Oh, Gabriel Iglesias. I've seen him before. Y'all seen him before? Seriously? Yes, yeah, on TV. Seen Fluffy. I, I don't know who he is. No, 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 no. I have no idea who that is. Yo, I've seen this man. Well, he was yeah. on Comedy Central. Yeah, that's why I've seen him before. Yeah, that's yeah. why I saw him originally when I was a So, guys, so. let us know if this is the original gift basket because I've seen a lot of videos and I don't know which one is the original one. So, we're going to watch this one, guys. Let us know. We're going to see if the guy's good. First time, this is my first time seeing him. So, y'all seen this guy before? Yes. Like, y'all watched the stand-up. I watched it with my family. I never, wa I never yes. watched the stand-up. You watched it, watched it. With my whole So family. where did you see him at? On my commercials and... Damn, he's in a He has a whole movie, movie I'm pretty never sure. never seen him, guys. Well, I even seen scared. him on Comedy Central. Yeah, that's why I watched it with my he, family. He must be crazy official. You guys want to hear the sickest practical joke ever? Yeah. But it's kind of twisted, though. Some of you might not want to laugh, so everybody has to agree they want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still recording this in the back? I want to try to put this up on YouTube later. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Could you zoom in a little bit more? I promise I won't move around a lot, but I want people to see my face if I do upload this story. All right, I'll keep it within here. Ready? All right. You guys sure? All right, here we go. Craziest practical joke ever. I'm supposed to do a show in Northern California with my friend Martin. Martin. We usually fly, but this particular day I was having problems with Southwest Airlines. They wanted me to purchase an extra seat for somebody who wasn't traveling with me. <laughs> They're crazy. They're to Take your be. time, you'll figure it out. Anyway. Uh, so he said, the hell with this. Let's yeah. just drive. So we jump in the car. <laughs> Head north. Usually it's about a six hour drive. A good sound effect. We're passing through the city of Fresno, and as we're passing through, we see signs on the side of the freeway that say, performing this weekend at the Radisson Hotel directly from BET's comic view in Showtime at the Apollo, comedian G. Riley. And I look at Martin, my buddy, right? I'm like, dude, Martin, G. So G. Riley's in town. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him forever. <laughs> G. Riley's an old comedy buddy of ours. So we're like, let's stop by the hotel and say hi. So we pull into the parking lot. Oh my God. Oh, we walk that was the hotel. Nice. That was nice. I tell my nice. buddy Martin, I said, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the front Bro, desk. His, his storytelling yeah, yeah. is I'm, ridiculous. I'm, here. I'm there with you. <laughs> I am literally there. The sound effects is crazy. He <laughs> call his room. He goes, what are you gonna say? I go, I'm gonna tell him that I'm the front desk and that I just received a gift basket for him. What's so funny about that? I'm gonna describe the gift basket to him over the phone. And I'm gonna make all the items that are in the basket become items that stereotypically a black person might like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're crazy. I go, I'll tell you what, we got two hours to kill. How about this? How about we go to the supermarket and we make an actual racist gift basket? <laughs> and we'll have it delivered and we'll wait outside the door to see what happens. I said, are you down? <laughs> so we go to the supermarket and we'll proceed to design the sickest practical joke ever. So we go inside the store and we're like, okay, we need a shopping cart. So we got a shopping cart. We're like, all right, first thing we need is a basket. So I find an old Easter basket that's on clearance. You know, <laughs> I take out the grass and the little plastic eggs and we start going up and down the aisles. First item I grab is a small little personal fried chicken. <laughs> I see some of you are laughing right now. Some are like, oh my God, where's he going I with this? Chicken. A couple black people oh, yeah. in the room were like, a couple black people were like, motherfucker, this better be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Say, the story. So, <laughs> we do, and I heard you already raise his ass right here. He goes, what about watermelon? We found a little tiny personal one, and we put it in the basket next to the fried chicken. Here's where it gets interesting. We get employees of the store to help us finish design the basket. Oh, and you'd be cool amazed watch. how comfortable people get with you when they know you're doing something that is wrong. <laughs> One guy is stocking a shelf and we walk up to him and we're like, excuse me, sir, can you help us out? What do you need? My friend Martin and I are trying to make a racist Martin. gift basket for our black friend. Can you think of something we can put in here? Without missing a beat, the guy was like, ah, you gotta have Kool-Aid. <laughs> 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 it's at the end of the aisle on the right. All liquors and XL over in the back of the store. By the time we hit the register, we got a shopping cart with Kool-Aid, freaking fried chicken, watermelon, grape soda, barbecue potato chips, sunflower seeds, an ebony magazine, a Chris Rock DVD called Bigger and Blacker. Here's the icing on the cake. We get a greeting card that's on clearance from Halloween, and it has a picture of three ghosts on the front of the card wearing sheets. Oh. 
I tear off the part that says Happy Halloween, and on the back of the greeting card, I write, Welcome to Fresno, the Chamber of Commerce. And we stick That's it to crazy. the basket. So we made it all nice and pretty. Haul ass back to the hotel. We pull up. <laughs> Walk in, the basket's all up. The door is on the face. Ah, ah, we get to the front desk, it is too perfect. There's a black girl behind the counter. <laughs> as soon as I put the basket down, she's like, Is that chicken? <laughs> Ooh, let me see what you got. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> What's wrong? I'll go, let me explain. My name is Gabriel. This is my friend Martin. We're comedians and we're about to play a really crazy practical joke on a friend of ours named G. Riley. Oh, the guy that's on the flyer? Yeah, the guy that's on the flyer. <laughs> We're friends of his, we're comedians, and uh, that's, that's, that's why you can smell uh, fried chicken because we're playing a, a really messed up practical joke. We made a racist gift basket, and that's why you also see watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, ooh, that is so wrong. <laughs> you need Jesus, that's what you need right there. <laughs> Girl, you gotta come see this. You got to come see this. This man, this man get real talented, bro. We think it would be hysterical like if you were to deliver right the basket for us. She lost it. Oh, hell no. Uh, I know you didn't just ask me to take that to a black man. You out your damn mind, sucker. Oh, Lord. Lord, give me the strength. Oh, Give me the strength nah, this sounds like to not kill this Nacho Libre. <laughs> you know what she said? She said to not strength. kill Nacho Libre. To not kill Nacho Libre. <laughs> <laughs> He said, not Look here, I am not doing it. Hell nah. I'll give you 50 bucks. Where that motherfucker at? <laughs> <laughs> we follow her to the hotel no. room. We hide and she knocks on the door. <coughs> he opens the door, sees a beautiful black woman standing there holding a gift basket. She's like, this here basket is for you, baby. And she hands it to him and he's like, thank you. Closes the door. <laughs> the accent's crazy. She walks away and my friend Martina and I are hiding by the elevator and she's like, y'all still going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so she jumps in the elevator we walk over real. the door and we start listening on the door. This is what we hear. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Woo! Shake it. <laughs> oh shit, cool my liquor. He's getting more excited. Every single item he finds. He oh, gets to the event. greeting card. Welcome to Fresno, the Chamber of Commerce. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. They know how to hook a brother up. <laughs> then we feel him flip the card over because his voice changed. He's like, yeah man, I can't believe it. What the fuck? <laughs> Next thing we hear, racist bastards! <laughs> when we heard racist bastards, we lost it. We're like, ah! Oh, we got him, we got him good. We're making noise in the hallway. Housekeeping is freaking out. ¿Qué está pasando allá? ¿Qué andan haciendo? Ay, tío, ¿qué? We had to chill her out. We couldn't take it. We're laughing, we're crying. We knock on the door. <coughs> he yells, who is it? Too easy. Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> this fool runs over the door, opens it, and he's got his fist up like he's gonna get crazy. And he sees Martin and I, and he's like, "Oh, damn! Oh, I know it! I know it! What's up, G? Did you like your basket, man? That was messed up. Did you like it, motherfucker? I love all that shit." <laughs> That's bad. Oh, I used to be going cool like crazy. I ain't gonna lie, man. Another two seconds, I'd have been looking for a white girl in that basket play. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> uh, how would you like it if I did that to you, Gabe? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, how would you like it if I had a maid over there bring your ass a piñata? <laughs> <laughs> and that sucker was full of candy and nachos and chimichangas and tacos and burritos and a blanket with a big-ass bottle of tequila. What would you say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> man, this man gave me a crazy. I ain't gonna lie, like, can you really get hot for that? Like, somebody. Nah, you can't get I mean, that's that. your boy. I mean, like, you can't be hot at your boy. Now I feel like somebody give me a real racist bad movie.
Like, she, you know what I like, man. <laughs> that is not you, man. She, yeah. I don't, I don't like, like watermelon like that, but if I do eat watermelon, I, I put salt on it. I don't like watermelon? Oh, I don't like watermelon. Hell no. Bro, I love watermelon, especially when you put some salt on it. Or put salt on cherry. I don't like grape soda. I don't like the texture. I don't like soda at all, really. Watermelon, that's my own one. I like pineapples, mangoes. I like plums. I like. Peaches. I think we like all fruit. Yeah, I like all I like grapes. I like all fruit except grapes. cantaloupe. Grapes don't and I don't one, like one, 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 one. I like cantaloupe, but I got happy with it. But my mom used to be so mad. She's like, no, these in grapes. It's just water. And I'm like, I mean, it's hell. Of course, that's the best one. Bananas. I like bananas. I like bananas too. I don't like the texture of bananas. Like bananas. Like bananas. The watermelon is very oh, I love the stereotype. Don't like bananas. Don't like watermelon. Oh, I be smashing cuties. Cuties too good. I like them. I just don't like the way they make my I'm hands. Not, I like chicken, guys, but chicken isn't like you know. Man, man I love I, chicken. I, I rather honestly, I like eat fried chicken. Nachos over chicken. You tripping? Nachos or rotel, nigga? Because you always say okay, nachos. Okay, right, right, rotel, nachos, it don't matter. That's a big damn difference. If I go to a Mexican restaurant and I see nachos, and I go to a black restaurant and I see chicken, I'm chicken up, picking the nachos, bro. You love it. I'm not gonna lie. That's you crazy. Choose. I feel like everyone likes chicken. If I, I don't choose, know why that's like chicken. Is this the chicken or the best? You choose Kane's more yeah. than you choose Taco Bell. I ain't trying yeah. to hit this thing next to each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't trying to hit this thing about You're saying that Taco Bell is better than Kane's? No, that's what you're saying right now. Yeah, that is. Nah, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying mean, that's tenders, though. And you go to Chick fil A all the time. I'm not saying chicken like that, bro. I'm saying chicken like, you know what I'm saying? A leg. Or a thigh. That's the same parts. It's just cut up different. Man, I know. I like the cut up. That's why I like boneless wings. I don't really like traditional wings, bro. That's crazy. So I'm you don't like the bone. Wings. You light skin. I forget. <laughs> I, prefer, I like bone. I like eating off the bone. It's like I hate like the whole thing. I, 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 I prefer the traditional ones. I love the bone. I, mean, I, I like, like, like picking them up and biting. It's just way more enjoyable. Yeah, like, nah, like eating. wings and nachos. I'm gonna like, choose the wings. You give me traditional wings. I'm choosing wings. Is top five. Wings are chicken wings, buffalo. Man, it feels like I'm eating the actual. Any Ew. type of chicken wing, oh, any goodness. sauce. I love anything I'm with a bone. Damn, I yeah. love chicken wings. That's top five. You don't like oh, Hey guys, oh, he bro. has any more good stand ups? Let us know, man. He definitely has some more. Yeah, we gotta Gosh. check him out, man. This guy's really good. All right, he's not fatty, fluffy. Yeah, <laughs> we go, guys. Appreciate it.